Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 21st of September comes to you from London and a lot of red on the screen this morning. That's partly because the dollar's up at most of these currencies that I look at here are against the dollar but also um, stocks generally falling off the back of falls last week in the US. So uh, we start by looking at the dollar index just to kick up this morning still bearish below the cloud on all three time frames. Remembering this is my weekly, my daily and my 60 minute chart long term, medium term and short term view. So it gives me a multifaceted view of the market. Uh, and we're taking a look here at uh, the dollar index. If we look at the euro, we see uh, the euro is actually looking more bullish against the dollar. We haven't quite broken out here yet, and that uh, stronger dollar this morning is just showing its hand. But the sideways move does look like a consolidation before another leg up on the medium term chart. The yen sitting at 104. Uh, against the dollar so that's also uh, weaker there and sterling sitting at 128.56 so we are seeing sterling weaker this morning as well uh, we've got quite a bit going on in the U UK with political uh, situation on both on the virus and um, the uh, Brexit uh, negotiations of course and against the euro we're sitting at 108.80 so we really have waved goodbye to this uh, 110 level now so that's uh, that's quite key as well. Taking a look at Bitcoin uh, we're sitting at $10,800 so not much change there um, but it is still looking uh, bullish on that long and medium term chart. Short term, we're just turning a little bit bearish. The S&P 500 index was down 1% last week. Uh, Friday. The key thing there really is not just the fall on Friday. We did actually nudge a new low and that's the third week in a row we see this red candle. So uh, three weeks in a row we've fallen that bearish engulfing candle uh, on the weekly chart weighing heavily on the market. We do have still have upside targets in place but critically last week we activated this downside target of 11% on the medium term chart for the S&P 500 index and on the NASDAQ 100 uh, we actually uh, activated an 18% downside target both on the 1% and half percent point and figure charts. So we've got near side targets 4 and 7% lower and then 18% lower on the longer term charts. So it looks like another bad week in store uh, for the US stock market um, after three bad weeks. And if we look at the Dow we've got uh, falls of 50, uh, half a percent there as well key thing is that the futures are already showing their hand. We've got the S&P future down 1.4% today and the Nasdaq E-mini down 1.3%. So we are seeing significant falls here um, really starting to show the hand in the market. If we look at the VIX volatility that's actually up 13% um, so that's quite key. Um, so that's also just showing the market nervousness, uh, remembering that as the VIX rises, that's a sign um, of nervousness. It's the fear index, if you like. Uh, the FTSE future is down nearly 3% in the UK. The uh, DAX is down 2.5% in Germany, the cash market, and the CAC Courant is down 2%. So we're seeing uh, quite a change in sentiment in these markets uh, at the moment. Japan bucked the trend uh, in the in uh, overnight. They were it was up 0.4 percent, but only Japan. The Hang Seng was down 2 percent, uh, with HSBC shares making new. 25-year uh, lows, so quite incredible there, and that's obviously weighed very heavily on the Hong Kong market. The uh, Shanghai Composite was down 0.6% uh, as well, so we are just seeing gradually equity markets all deteriorating, and the uh, Sensex in India was also down 0.7%, uh, starting to just look a little bit weaker there. The Aussie market down 0.7% as well. Uh, if we take a look at gold, we're sitting at 1942. Uh, Gold normally a beneficiary of um, uh, market fears, but not today. We're seeing it just selling off as well. There is a, a case for, uh, we're seeing a lot of assets being liquidated, and so um, gold is just short-term bearish. Medium and long-term charts still bullish, of course, and we're waiting for this pattern to play out. Do we break to a new high and activate the upside or the downside? The long-term charts still very, very bearish, bullish. Uh, silver also looking pretty strong as well. Uh, if we take uh, a look at, and so we just see here silver just falling away there as well. If we take a look at the energy mix, we've got Brent crude down 2.3% this morning. That's falling away quite heavily. 
Um, we did have a quite a strong rise last week, so we we market we were market neutral this morning first thing, but we are seeing now these downside targets coming into play, uh, and of course we did activate before that rise last week. We did activate a downside target to thirty dollars. WTI sitting just teetering at the forty dollar mark, sitting at forty oh two this morning. U.S. Nat Gas had a very big fall last week. It was down um, one point. Uh, it was down to one. Dollar ninety-seven storage numbers on Thursday in the U.S. There's a glut of gas, and that's just pushing uh, prices lower for that gas. And we've got downside targets back below too. We are holding on to the long-term trend there, but for the moment, uh, that's quite uh, key. Just seeing whether we make new lows below last week's low, uh, that would be bad news for gas this week. Coal actually looking bullish. It's bucking the trend. It's up just under one percent. One of our bullish calls this week, and emissions are actually further down, just down one point eight percent this morning so we are seeing emissions sinking lower and the one minute chart is giving us downside targets here so that's quite key as well uk uh, europe k and european gas prices are higher and they're looking more bullish on the trend and if we look at german power that's also looking stronger uh on the long term chart but still needs to break this 43 mark and we are looking like we're just going to come back this week as well that's it for today the big thing is stock markets are weighing heavily on sentiment until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.